Hi everyone. So we're doing the vector field day lab over here. First thing is you guys should be making two flags with your toothpicks and your paper. One should say start over here and one should say finish. Once you guys do have done that, we're gonna go to the field, wherever that is, and we're gonna go to the middle. So we're at the 50 yard line over here. We're, once we go to the middle, your teacher is gonna say which way north, west, east, and south is. So for this one, north is just gonna be straight sure ahead this way, west is to the left, right is east, and south is just gonna be going down this way. Once that has been established, you're gonna find your starting point somewhere along the middle of the field. So I'm gonna get my start one, and then I am gonna put it somewhere along this line. I'm just gonna put it over here. Make sure that it's sturdy so that the wind doesn't blow it away. I put it right here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna be adding vectors. You have a total of 12 to do, so I'm just gonna be adding some of them. So I have this over here. So you can use a meter stick, or you could use one of these measuring tapes, but whatever you have useful. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go do four feet. So this is four feet over here, and I'm gonna go four feet north. So this is four feet, and north is this way. So now I go to my piece of paper over here, and for vector one, I'm going to write four feet north, okay? So, and that's four feet. Now, I'm gonna mark it so I know where I ended with the first vector over here. And then I'm gonna do an angled one, and this can be a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna go like five feet, like 120 degrees. So I'm gonna put this down to five feet over here. And then I'm gonna get my protractor so I know where 120 degrees is. These angled ones can be confusing. So I'm gonna go right here. And then 120 degrees is right there. So I'm gonna put this there and I'm gonna make sure to move this a bit. So it should be around there. I'm gonna make sure this goes there. Whoopsies. So this is 120 right there. Now I'm gonna mark so where the second vector ended from the first one, which is right here. And then I'm gonna go to my sheet of paper over here. I'm going to write five feet at 120 degrees, or I could say, or at um, 60 degrees north of west. All right, so I'm gonna do a few more, and I'm not, I'm not probably not gonna do all 12, but I'm gonna do a few more so you can see how I progress through this. So I'm gonna go west over here. vectors over here but I got up to seven and this is what I have so far but when you finish all 12 what you're gonna do is you're gonna call up your teacher and what your teacher is going to do your teacher is gonna secretly measure how far it is from here to there and he or she is not gonna tell you but let me measure that real quick What I measured out was around 20.6 feet as the teacher, and that was at an angle of 80 degrees north of east. I'm not gonna tell this though as the teacher. What you have to do now is with all these vectors, is you have to figure out what that resultant vector is, both mathematically and graphically. So for example, the first vector says four feet north, that means it's gonna be zero in the X component and po positive four in the Y component. Vector two is five feet at 120 degrees or 60 degrees north of west, which is something like that, five feet. And then this is 60 degrees. So I'm not exactly sure what that is mathematically. I know in the X component, it's gonna be 2.5 to the left. So I'm gonna put this as negative 2.5. 
feet and it's going to be something like four feet over here uh, it's got some decimal over here but you're going to add it all up and you're going to find what the resultant vector is mathematically and graphically once you do that uh, we're going to see how close you came to the actual answer and it should be pretty close if you're way off you might lose some points so make sure to be precise with every vector that you add all right enjoy hope you have fun